there we just laid down some blue marker on our frets. Got the neck totally true. Got in our neck jig here, so it's going to stay completely true as I work on it. Here I've got a steel leveling bar. We're going to go through and level the frets now. My reasoning for putting the blue on the frets is as soon as I see that everything is sanded off, all the blue, then I know all my frets are completely true. Then we'll go through, re-blue, and crown the frets. Okay, now that we've completed the level with the leveling bar, I've gone through with the blue marker, remarked up all the frets. Now that we've created flat spots on the top of the fret by doing the level, we need to re-crown them. To do that, I've got a diamond crowning file here. And the reason we re-blue the top is I want to make sure that I don't hit the top of the fret because then I'm going to screw up the true level that I just created with the bar. So you come through, I'm going to hit the side of the fret here, flip the fret file over, bring it in, put it down here, bring that back in, and you get a thin blue line up there across the top of the fret so I know that I'm still true. I'm come down and do that at home. Okay, now that we've finished with the fret leveling and the fret crowding, it's time to go ahead and sand them and buff them and polish them. Um, the, the diamond fret file that I use here is 150 grit. Uh, we need to sand all the way up to 800 grit. So I'll do 150 with the file, then I'll move on to 220, 324, 6, then 800, then steel wool. So it's a long process, but it's something you got to do to get that nice shine on there. I come in sanding both sides of the fret here. Just sand it on the top just enough to remove my lines. I do not want to remove any meat from that fret there. Once again, you don't want to disturb your level. So now we've sanded up to 800. We've steel wooled up to uh, 400. And now I've got these shields I've placed right over here. And on top here, i got my Dremel set up with a buffing wheel, a little compound. Get that. Put on your safety glasses because it throws cotton around. This is going to give you a real smooth playability there. 